The Three Mirrors There once was a man named Stephen who had a dream. He dreamt that he was walking along a path when he came across an old peddler selling mirrors. He came up to the old peddler's cart and the old peddler handed him one of the mirrors. Stephen held it up to his face and as he started looking into the mirror something strange started to happen. For this mirror was unlike any other Stephen had looked into. For it, when he looked into it he didn't see his reflection but he saw images from his past. He saw some joyous occasions he had like the first time that Stephen had ridden the, his bike and he could feel the wind blowing in his hair and he could remember all those great birthday parties he had when he was younger and the, the times he'd done really well at school and the tries he scored in football and all those great times he'd had with his best friends. And just as Stephen was starting to really enjoy looking into this mirror, something stranger happened. This time, the mirror turned all hazy. It was like a fog came over the mirror. And the scenes went all dark, and no longer were the joyous scenes there, but the scenes of Stephen being teased, the times that people mistreated Stephen, and all those sad things that had happened to him over the years. The time Stephen had had an accident in his car, the time Stephen had, had even lost his job and these, these things brought sadness back to Stephen's face. They brought sadness back to his and he started to cry and as he was crying the mirror fell from his hands and smashed into a thousand pieces on the ground. Now Stephen was extremely embarrassed. What was he to do? He reached into his pocket to grab his wallet but then the old peddler just tapped him on the shoulder and just shook his head to say it was okay and handed Stephen another mirror. Stephen was confused to say the least but he looked into the mirror and once again the same scenes he saw in the first mirror, those really happy times those times that he'd always treasured and hoped he'd never forgot, would never forget what came back to him. Then again the mirror went hazy again and those same scenes of misery came back but this time it was a little different because in the background he could see a, a figure. It was really faint at first but it became clearer and clearer and he gestured to the old man to come over and look at the mirror and, and the old man looked at the mirror and Stephen looked at the old man and the, the image became clearer and clearer and Stephen looked at the old man and looked at the mirror and the old man, the old man started to change. He was no longer an old man anymore. His face started to change, his whole appearance started to change. And Stephen looked at the mirror again and the image in the mirror was the same as the image of the old man. And Stephen now was really, really, really confused, amused, he didn't know what to think. And the old man just took the mirror off him and sat him down. Now S Stephen didn't know what to say, he was like he was dumb and he really wanted to ask the old man as was that you in the mirror and how did you get in the mirror and the old man just nodded his head just as though he knew exactly what Stephen was thinking and Stephen just, just shook his head like what's going on here what's going on here then the old man who wasn't old at all handed Stephen another mirror and Stephen took the mirror off the man and looked into it and as he was looking into this mirror it was different from the first two because these weren't scenes from Stephen's past these were scenes from his dreams these were scenes of things that Stephen had dreamed to do in his future the accomplishments he had really hoped that he one day achieve all those wonderful things that he was hoping would happen in his life all those wonderful things that he thought would, hoped would happen to his children and he was he was just really in raptures he was he couldn't be happier and it was as though he was seeing these things actually happen before his eyes and even things were happening before his eyes were far greater than his dreams but then with these joyful things he also saw some things that weren't so joyful some hardships that had to be overcome some sickness some pain some things that he'd hoped that wouldn't happen he knew things wouldn't always be rosy but these things he'd hoped would never happen in his life but this time it was different because he could see 
The figure of this man who had seen in the second mirror was with him the whole time, was walking with him, was strengthening him, was talking to him, was encouraging him, was holding him, was letting him know that everything's okay, just keep, let's, we can do this together, we can do this together, we can hear this man say, well, you're not alone, you're not alone, you're not alone, we'll get through this, you'll get stronger on the other side. And Stephen was just, even though these things were not happy things, he was feeling so much stronger and so much, yes, I can do this, yes, I can do this. Then the mirror went clear again. And he handed the mirror back to the man. And he was, as he was sitting there with the man, still trying to work out what was going on and what had happened, he looked at the man's hands. And in his hands he could seal the nail prints. And he knew exactly who this man was. And this man started to talk to Stephen. And he said to Stephen, you've got a choice to make. Which way will you go? Will you go the way you are going now? Will you go on trying to do things by yourself? Will you try to go on in your own strength? Will you just trust in your own wisdom? Or will you allow me to come in and walk with you? Will you allow me to fulfill the dreams in your life? Those things that you thought could never happen. You only thought the wishes were were pie in the sky things. Will you allow me to come in and make those a reality in your life? And with that, Stephen woke with a start. And as soon as he woke up, he knew what he had to do.